Happy Friday. How you doing? Hey, we're talking about how to be healed by God. Today, I want to talk to you about being healed of anxiety, stress, worry, and fear. You can be healed of those things. And that's all part of healing. Amen. So we're going to get you healed. And this book is just coming out this week. It came out Wednesday. We launched it on Wednesday. Everybody should have a link to this book right now. I want everybody in this country who is sick to get this book. After you get this book, now some of you are going to have the book arriving today. You're watching this early in the morning, but Amazon will be dropping this book off to you today or tomorrow. So you're going to get this book. After you read it, go back to Amazon and write a review for us. Make it a good one too. Because that helps in our sales and that helps in our placement of our book. Make sure everybody you know or everybody you know of gets one of these books. If you hear of somebody, I... Uh, I already got one of these books into the hand of somebody that I know of who has pancreatic cancer. I got this book into their hand. So glory to God, huh? And, and there's also people who can be healed by God. There's, there's a lot of them. I'm going to make sure everybody who is sick gets a hold of this book. There is nobody, nobody, should ever stay sick and broke. Because I'm going to send them one of these books. I'm going to buy my own books and I'm going to mail it to people or give it to people, whichever I get a chance to do. Because I want everybody to have this book. Nobody needs to be sick and broke. Nobody. Say this with me today on this happy Friday. Today's offering day. Make sure you call me to speak the blessing over you today as you do your offerings. We're, I think today, is today the last day of the month? I think we're about, about done. Tuesday was the 28th, Wednesday was the 29th, 30, 31. Today is the last day of the month. So make sure you get your offerings and your donations in, but really make sure you call me so I can speak God's word for word blessing over you. Glory to God, huh? I want your, we don't bless the offerings as they come in. We bless the people. We do it exactly the way Abraham and Melchizedek did. Because that's what they did. Melchizedek blessed Abraham and Abraham tithed. That's how we do it. Especially when you tithe. Make sure you call so I can speak that blessing over you. Glory to God. Now I speak the blessing over everybody on Monday. And that's good too. But I like to speak the blessing personally over people. People call me on Mondays. They say, I want my weekly blessing. I love to hear people say that. <laughs> you know what? Because people who talk like that are the ones who get it. They get it. We got people living in million dollar homes. People who are so blessed by God. And it's because of the power in the name of Jesus. And that same power in the name of Jesus can heal every sick person there is. Make sure if you know of anybody who is sick, get some of these books, take them to church. You know people who in your church who are sick. Don't just tell them about the book, give it to them. Hand it to them, write their name on it with a marker. That way it's gotta be their book. It just doesn't get thrown around. Make sure they read it. And some of these books will be read by people you don't even give them to because they'll find their way around. So praise God. In this book is my phone number. When they call me, people I don't know call me for the first time. Well, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to lead them in the sinner's prayer. I'm going to tell them about Jesus. And then I'm going to get them healed through the power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. Say this with me today. The rest of my life is the best of my life. And the best of my life is the rest of my life. Everything I touch turns to gold. I am smart, getting smarter every day. I am extremely talented. Great things are coming my way. Everything always works out for me. 
I am a wonderful person. Pastor Jim is a wonderful pastor. Pastor Jim is the ultimate pastor. You know, I got one of these books a few days ago. The uh, publisher sent me a proof. That's it. So I've been reading this book, folks, let me tell you. I wrote this book and I can't stop reading it. I, it's just, it is, it just, it quickens my spirit when I read this book because it's God's word on healing. There is nothing else out there like this book. Nothing, there is no other book out there like this where people can read this and, and some people will get healed just reading the book. Some will get healed just reading the book. I want everybody in this country and Canada and all over, Australia will be full of these books very quickly because there's pastors down there who will get these books. And Amazon is in Australia, so they can order them down there and get them. And so the people, this book will be all over Australia very quickly. And I know our blessing book and a lot of other books are in all, all through Australia. But you get these books and give them to everybody who is sick. My phone number is there. They'll call me. We'll get them healed through the power in the name of Jesus. Glory to God. I want to show you something here. It tells us in verse 7 of 2 Timothy chapter 1. For God has not given us the spirit of fear. Do you know what fear is? Fear is an evil spirit. Now you might call that a demon. The word demon is not used in the Bible. But it's commonly referred to as evil spirits. An evil spirit is a demon. And it's allowed in by a curse. <clears throat> and it causes fear. Now, some of the sub cohorts of fear is anxiety, stress, and worry. <clears throat> Everybody who is operating with the spirit of fear in their life has also got some anxiety, stress, and worry going on. Believe me, there's a lot to be afraid of right now. Plenty. If you're if you're a person who enjoys <clears throat> being in fear and living in fear, you got to, you're living in a perfect time. There's a lot to be afraid of. People say that we're on the verge of World War III. I don't know. I don't pay a lot of attention. I don't pay a whole lot of attention to a lot of stuff. The reason I don't is because I pay attention to the things of God. I am concerned right now. My number one concern right now is not politics or anything. My number one concern is getting sick people healed, building the kingdom of God. Jesus told everybody when he sent them out to preach, he said, go preach the kingdom and heal the sick. Do you know that God's people are commanded to heal the sick? That's a commandment. Heal the sick, he told his followers. Go out there and heal the sick. Well, you can heal the sick by getting that book into their hand. And believe me, everyone that you get a book into their hand, when they, if they get healed, which a lot of them will, you're going to get credit for that because you're obeying what God said to do. I've been doing this for oh, decades. Now, a special anointing came over me to do this. And I realized everybody doesn't have that same anointing. Some people do. And I developed my faith for it. And I mean, three weeks after I got saved, people were getting healed. Miracles. But that's because the power of God came over me to do that. And I praise God for that. There's, a, there's some other people who have that. There was a guy here in Florida a few years ago, a couple years ago. He had that gift. I mean, he's going around laying his hands on people and they got healed. Then he died of sickness and disease himself. Because he didn't have enough faith for himself. But he was getting people healed. I saw him do it. Saw him do it. I told Mary, I said, that guy's got a gift of faith. He's got a, I said, he's got a gift of healing. He's got that gift. It's a spiritual gift. 
Gift of healing is a spiritual gift. I've, I've had it for years and years and years, and I recognize it when somebody else has got it too. I mean, I used to just touch people and say, be healed in the name of Jesus, and boom, they got healed. Now I do it over the phone. I say, in the name of Jesus, be healed. They get healed. Glory to God. That anointing goes right over the phone. If Jesus was here himself, now he'd have an iPhone. He'd be getting healed. People healed. Well, let me tell you how this spirit of fear, anxiety, worry, and stress all works. The minute somebody calls me and says, oh, Pastor Jim, I'm just feeling so anxious. And believe me, there's a lot of that going on right now. And with good reason. The first thing I'm going to do is break that curse of fear. That spirit of fear comes in because there's a curse going on. I break that curse, then I command that spirit of fear to leave in the name of Jesus. That spirit of fear will leave that person or you, whoever calls me, and all of a sudden, the anxiety, the stress, and the worry goes with it. Because it's all connected. It's so simple. I can do that for anybody who calls me in 10 seconds. You know I can get people healed in 10 seconds too. Be healed. Break that curse. Command that evil spirit to come out. I do it exactly the way Jesus did. Jesus healed all who were oppressed of the devil. Fear is oppression of the devil. Sickness is oppression of the devil. Poverty is oppression of the devil. Jesus healed them all. And the first thing he did was get rid of those evil spirits, those curses. Broke them, cast them out. Be gone. I do the same thing. And it works just as, just as good. It works fine. That's what the healing evangelist did. From 1947 to 1958, 11 years, the healing evangelist, Oral Roberts, A.A. A. Allen, William Branham, Jack Cole, all those people went around the country. They were healing people like crazy. T.L. Osborne got tens of thousands of people healed through the power in the name of Jesus because they would break those curses and they'd command those evil spirits to leave. Believe me, folks, this works. I've been doing it. I'm doing the same thing they did, exactly the same way they did, and I'm getting the same results. I even did it in a church one time with thousands of people in there. They all got healed at the same time because the name of Jesus has no boundaries. There's no limitations, no measurement of the power in that name. You can't measure that power. It is so incredibly immense. It's unlimited power. And that power will drive sickness out of any sick person if somebody is using that name in faith. I'm telling you, I see that all the time. I even had somebody call me a couple years ago and she just called me the other day and reminded me that I had spoken over her dog two years ago because her dog was diagnosed with pancreatic cancer and that dog was healed. Now that's the power of God. And I give God all the glory and all the credit for it. God gets the credit for everything that happens, folks. Because nothing happens without his power. Nothing happens without his power. But we have to direct his power. I can use the name of Jesus to direct the power of God to go into any sick person to cause them to be healed. You give one of these books to somebody, when they call me, their chances of being healed of any sickness or disease or financial sickness is very good. Glory to God. Make sure you call me today when you do your offerings and your donations and your tithe. I want to speak God's word for word blessing over you. God bless you as you pass these books out. I'm telling you what, I'm, I'm determined that every person in this country will know that the power of God is in this house and in my church. And they can either come here or they can call me on the phone and the power of God through the name of Jesus will get them healed. And you will get credit for helping us do that.